welcome back to my channel and to another video as you can tell by the title of this video today is travel day which means we're going to colorado baby i'm so excited because i get to see my friends i get to celebrate um blanca and jonathan's baby girl and we get to be with them and just get to show them so much love because they are somebody who always shows up for us and that means the world literally when you have a baby and people show up for your baby it means the world so we just want to reciprocate that as much as possible for jonathan and blanca now let me tell you a story time i don't know why my brain is like this but any time that i know that i have to wake up early even if it's not like super early my brain just wakes up earlier like i don't know why it's like that and it's always Always kind of been like that like for example today i didn't have to wake up till 10 30 a.m which it's a later wake up time but i'll ex i'll explain right now and basically i was like okay i don't have to wake up until 10 30 it's fine like, tell me why my brain decided to wake me up at 7 30. like i did not need to wake up that early it was not that serious and i tried so hard to go back to sleep and i was trying and i was trying and my brain just would not go back to sleep so i was laying in bed for about an hour until i was like you know what I'm just gonna get up and start doing things and start being productive because I don't know why. I feel like when my brain knows that it has something to do, it just cannot sleep. I also don't know why right now my baby's going through a sleep regression. So he has his schedule turn around. So he actually went to sleep around like 2.30 or 3 in the morning yesterday and I stayed up with him. So I basically only got two, three, four, five, six, seven, about five hours of sleep. It's fine. We're gonna make it work. It just reminds me of new newborn days and something i don't miss about the newborn days is definitely the lack of sleep currently 10 30 and we're gonna be leaving for air for the airport in about an hour like i told you guys in the last vlog we're checking in bags so typically when we're gonna check in a bag i like to leave even earlier than we normally would because i feel like you never know how long the lines are gonna be to check in your bag and to drop them off thankfully we already checked into the flight so we just have to get there drop off the bags and then go to our waiting area but also when you have a baby you guys going through tsa is like the most annoying thing because anything you have so we've traveled with the stroller before typically we'll travel with the stroller but when you have a stroller they literally make you take out the baby if you're wearing like a baby carrier they make you take off the baby carrier they make you ba basically break break everything apart the stroller the baby carrier take the baby out and you walk through the monitor with the baby and then somebody else like another tsa agent will go through your stroller basically to make sure that you're not hiding anything in there which i mean it makes sense i'm grateful they do that just need to go with like a lot more time than we have before because i wouldn't want to miss our flight and i wouldn't want to i just it's happened before where like things happen and i've missed our, we've missed our flight before and i just want to go as relaxed and as stress-free as possible because i feel like if i go with more time i don't have to be worried about like oh my god we're gonna miss our flight like and it's so funny because we all used to make fun of our moms like oh my god my parents leave three hours early for the airport now i know why once we're checked in girl i don't care if we're in the waiting area for like two to three hours because at least we know the plane is not gonna leave us and you already know if you've been here for a long time every time we're actually coming back every time we're coming back from denver i always almost lose our flight or get our flight times confused if you know you know so i'm just trying to make sure <laughs> that we're there within enough time and that we don't have to rush because i don't know what it is but every time i'm rushing i literally get stressed out i don't thrive you know how there's people that thrive that they're like oh my god we have five minutes like woo like they get excited they get a thrill out of it i'm not like that like the more we're rushing the more stressed out i get and the more of a bad mood i get in so i just want to make this as enjoyable as possible for everyone so i'm like you know what let's just go with time and let's not suffer. I wanted to take my Dove Martins, the ones that I got. These ones. <laughs> Pero, si me las voy a poner. But I already know. I'm trying to make my life as easy as possible when traveling. So like, I'm wearing comfy clothes. You know, I'm just making sure to not have to like struggle a lot. Like I'm not even taking a purse. Uh, we're gonna check in the bags and stuff. And these are probably not the smartest shoes to wear because when we go through TSA, we do have to take our shoes off. But also, if I put these in my bag, you guys, each shoe is probably like two pounds, literally. Like, they're so heavy. So I'm like, okay, like, no, I have to wear them because if I put them in the bag, I think we're going to be over. And I'm probably going to be wearing these the whole weekend, to be honest. They're cute. They're comfy. 
They do make me like six two, but that's okay. Baby's taking a nap right now, so this is the perfect time to just get everything ready for myself and then that way I can switch off with Denny and be with the baby so that he can get everything ready for himself. I actually need it work okay. This is good. Hello you guys. We have officially made it to the airport. There's Christmas music, everybody's jolly and we made it with time and we weren't stressed out because we literally got here two hours early thankfully everything went smooth they didn't even make me take the baby out of the baby carrier which typically they do so that was amazing it was great now i am starving so there's this place here called alfred's coffee i think it's called yeah este en los cuernos i got a caramel macchiato it's pretty good it actually tastes like real coffee the roasted turkey sandwich really good for airport food the fight should be about three hours so it shouldn't be that bad i think sj's sleepy so we'll see how it goes but honestly i just want to get there already because we all need a nap oh my god somebody has a cat on a leash can you see i can't zoom in that is the first time i see a cat on a leash that is so funny and cute I still didn't. he's holding sj you guys know that Denny has a little bit of flight anxiety, so hopefully it's a super smooth flight. Uh, we appreciate him taking the flight every time. So, And they said that it was going to be an hour and 45 minutes, so we should be there soon, soon, soon. And then Colorado, here we come. Let's go, baby. Y'all, I'm out of breath because Denny and I were racing <laughs> right now. And the elevation here, ooh, is. Me es otro rollo. Oh my God. Gracias a Dios, we made it. We made it to the Denver airport. Very festive, very cute. Um, so, since we checked in bags, we have to go pick up our bags. And then we're gonna be renting a car because we're gonna be here for a couple of days. Girl, not me, really out of breath. We're gonna be actually staying at a hotel because everybody gets into town to Blanca's house tomorrow, Thursday. But today, uh, I mean, it was already late. We didn't wanna bother them. And I also still have to get the baby shower gift. So I didn't wanna tell them like, oh, can you guys give us a right to get you your baby shower gift? You know, and I didn't wanna have to be like, oh, can you take me to get your gift? I didn't want her to see what we were getting her, you know? So just for tonight, we're staying at a hotel and then tomorrow we're gonna go to Blanca J and Jonathan's house. I don't see anyone from our flight here. Boy, did we go to the wrong baggage claim? We always get damn lost. It does say baggage claim here. Should we ask? Because I don't even think we can make it back in through there. Pregúntale, pregúntale. And the ticket? You kept it? Dude, we always get lost in Denver, huh, pa? <sighs> you know where baggage claim is? It, it, well, is it the same for all the flights? It's, yeah. It leads to the same place. So, right now you're on the sixth floor. Uh huh. Baggage claim was on the fifth floor. Okay. There's a west side and there's an east side. Oh. The west side is 10 through 19. The east side is going to be 1 through 9. How do we know which one we are? So we gotta go on the other side? West so, side. This side? Keep going here? No, no. Okay. okay. You can get the, when you get down to there, there'll be signs that'll tell you where you're going. And screens. Oh. Yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're basically going to the same place? Oh, okay. Yeah? Okay. So, yeah, so you're gonna go down one level. Okay. The west side to the south end. Okay. We'll try our best. Say east west. It's just the size of the terminal. Oh, like, okay. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, right. There's a middle. The middle, and then there's, and then there's 
It looks so lonely here. <laughs> well, nobody wants to take a 10 minute walk. You could have oh. you could have taken the train. Oh, oh there's a train. Oh, a train that goes ABC. This is a 10 minute walk. Oh, okay, okay. So we're taking our steps. Yeah, there's a lot of these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it leads to the same place basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. Arrival flight, I'll tell you what. Uh, so commercial vehicles. Go ahead. Thank you. Flame 10, ten. Which is gonna be ten. Ten is Ten uh. Hands on there. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> he took us all the way. That was so oh. nice. He, didn't, he, didn't, he wasn't even going this way. Oh, that was so nice of him. Que Dios lo bendiga. We always have some weird turn of events at the Denver airport. Pero gracias a Dios, hopefully our maletas are there. No, yeah, let me not even cancel out. El hombre de Jesús, let me not talk. But that man was so nice. He must have been someone's grandpa because <laughs> he was like, let me pick up these. Uh, these lost kids and take them to where they need to go. So baggage claim 10, that's where we should be. To the left, to the left, to the left. We're here, Denver, we're here. Colorado, Colorado. It's here. Hmm. We were so late that our bags are over here. Let me see. Hold this. We were literally so late and so the last ones to be here that they put our maletas to the side. <laughs> oh my god. And now I can't. Oh, I, I see it. It's over here, baby. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Levada. It's the next day. Even though I'm wearing the same sweater. Last night we checked in. We had dinner and. We basically went to bed, huh? Or tried to go to sleep because lately Santiago has been waking up super late at night. He just wants to like hang out. <laughs> Wait, last night he was only awake for like an hour, no? Like, like two, no? Two hours? Yeah. Yeah, guys, we're gonna go have breakfast slash brunch because yeah, son, casi es mediodía. So we are going to this spot called, what is it called, baby? It's called Snooze. It's called Snooze. There's one in San Diego. <laughs> literally so windy I think I'm just gonna have the regular breakfast every time I come to places like this I feel like I have to get like something that like they're known for you know para probar bien a gusto but also I feel like look the menu has literally so many options I was expecting something else but pues <laughs> like the one I got over there and uh, the other restaurant Not bad, not bad. We're gonna do a, a taste test. Right? Mm. No, as you can see, nah. Como que le hace falta sabor. A ver a qué sabe el mío. Yeah, sí le hace falta poquito de sabor, but I was telling Danny, he's so picky, but he never wants to send his food back. So no matter what he gets, he ends up eating it anyway. <laughs> but yo por eso el clásico. We made it. First things first, we're here to get a baby shower card. Oh my gosh, how cute! Look. Holy guacamole! You're gonna. You're going to Abo Baby. No, that's que salado, que salado. A ver. Cheers. I want something. I want everything about this to be super girly and super cute because it's a girl. You know what I mean? I feel like with girly stuff, you can have more girly stuff. Look how pretty. It's a girl. Okay, yeah, we're taking this one. This is what I mean. Like, there's no one that says it's a boy, you know? Hello, little one. This one's so cute too. Y'all, I found the cutest pair of boots. I don't know 
encuentro mi talla. How cute are these? And they're literally, look at how gorgeous they are. I literally looked up and down, up and down, and I only found those that are size 8. Me voy a dar otra vuelta, a ver si las encuentro, porque hay un santo cochinero aquí. But there was probably another size 11 girl who already walked through here and got hers, because there's not that many of us. Or they don't have that many pairs. Okay, vamos a darnos otra vueltecita por si acaso somebody hit them. Because sometimes, cuando tienes la patita grande, you hide things. So other people don't find them. Yo ya me sé ese truco, hermanas. Ya me lo sé. Oh my God, look how tiny and cute this is. This is so cute. You buy two books, you get one free? I don't remember if with, Bla uh, with Franco, Blanca had him wear little baby gloves. Because I know with Santiago, I didn't. So I don't want to take them if she doesn't. But you guys, there's literally so many cute clothes for baby girls. I feel like Blanca likes a lot of like the beige vibes. So this is a maybe. But let's look. Okay, but this Target has literally a whole section of Disney stuff. We literally don't have this back home. What in the world? Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I'm in Disneyland right now. This is so cute. We should take something for Franco because I know he likes Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we could take this for Franco. I know Catalina's gonna be there too. So, or maybe for Cata we could take the princesses. I have no idea what it is. Oh, it is, yeah, we've been here before. With Blanca and Jonathan. You guys, we left Target. Bad news, I didn't find the shoes. We did find a lot. This car is literally so small. We're so jam-packed right now, look. No, she got a... the, everything is packed, but ya casi llegamos con Blanca. We decided to stop at Dutch Bros, some Dutchies. Okay, bro. Para llevarles coffee at Toto's. Y para probar café nosotros también, ¿verdad, corazón? Okay. I need it, girl. I need it. I need coffee. Mama needs her coffee, my love. Okay, bro. Oh my god, baby, you say that one more time. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? Okay, bruh. Okay, bruh. <laughs> Wait, is it close? No. Be so for real right now. Bro, if this is close, I'm gonna cry. How do you know? No veo a nadie. Oh, thank God. Oh. I think so. I literally was about to cry. I'm gonna do a couple of drinks. So I'll do a medium. Hey. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Medium hazelnut truffle with soft top. Medium Christmas morning with whipped cream. Medium Christmas morning with whipped cream again. Medium Christmas morning with oat milk and whipped cream. Hold on one second, I got lost. Okay, or medium Christmas morning with oat milk and whipped cream. Oh, so it was two of the same. This car, man, this car is so... <laughs> you say you hate this car? <laughs> no, it's because I feel like everything is... I have this mirror in my face. <laughs> I feel like I have this... Rear mirror my face and I can't even see people. Like We're big as hell, girl. We're so big for this car. <gasps> Yay! Mira, Franco. Mira. Mira, ven. Te tengo una sorpresa. Mira. Miki. Dile a mamá si lo puedes abrir. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice a Stacy, mi amor? Dile gracias. ¿Te lo abro? ¿Qué De nada, corazón. Muy bien, mi De nada. Of course. Te lo abro. A gift for the big brother. Oh my goodness. ¿Qué se siente de Franco's gonna be a big brother? Oh my god, you know what? I think seeing him, how gentle he can be. Wait, did he already get, does, does he have them? Uh, yeah, he, ha he has so many. Is it okay? I don't know yeah. if you want to exchange it. No. It's no, good? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. He can, and it's nice because he always takes them everywhere. Oh, so okay. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so you feel good that he's gonna be a big brother? Yeah, I feel like he, he's kind of gentle. You know, he is. He he's very curious with SJ and, and stuff. Look, you guys, we also got one for Cata. Oh, we got here, by the way. I forgot to tell you. We're at Blanca's house. We're here. La Comadre is also here, but she's upstairs with the baby sleeping. So 
We made a girl. We delivered the portos. Um, we delivered the portos. We got the toys. We haven't even made it to the room yet, but ahorita vamos a descansar. It feels so good to be here. It feels very homey. I'm so happy. I love it here, honestly, I do. I feel so welcome. Good. I feel so full of love. Also, did you notice that we have matching trees? Do we really? Yeah, uh, well, some ornaments are the same. <gasps> yeah. We did like candy cane lane vibes too. Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah. And your mom's tree is so cute too. You like it? Yes. Oh, I'm glad you do. That was a wholesome vlog, like seeing Nanny. Man, he's such a big guy too. Okay, ready? Do this. Oh, Franco's so cute, you guys. Sabes que te iba a decir siempre. Um, like it always stands out how well behaved y que bien portado es Franco. Really? Yes. Like when you do your little like uh, teaching lessons with him, I'm like, oh my god, he's such a cute boy. Ahorita que baje Cata le damos el suyo. Ay, mi pa, look, you guys. Look at this big boy. So SJ doesn't have this many toys at the house. So he is having the time of his life. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Estás en el caballo, pa? Oh. oh my goodness. I think we're gonna need to get him one of those now. We have one in, the cl in my closet. Oh, we have one? We have everything. Let me see. He will not go anywhere. Wow. I'm so glad you love them, Franco. It's my life mission to make you happy. Uh-oh. 